happening right now. Let's take a look here. That is an empty podium as of right now, but we are waiting on the superintendent of public instruction for the state of Arizona, Diane Douglas. She's going to be addressing the media and the public talking about uh, this recent controversy. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it looks like she's just getting ready to approach the podium here. This, of course, coming at a time, a bit of a war of words here between her and Governor Doug Ducey after uh, Douglas essentially fired two Board of Education staffers on Wednesday. Take a listen. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I just have a brief statement for you today. It's obvious that there is ambiguity in the statutory language on the Board of Education, its relationship to the Arizona Department of Education, specifically with regards to staff. This ambiguity has created an unnecessary conflict, in my opinion, between three public bodies that are all dedicated to serving our children. I do not wish to spend precious tax dollars litigating who is responsible for the various operations or the staff of the Board of Education. These resources are better spent supporting our children, teachers, and classroom instruction. Our focus needs to be on educating children and not disputing poorly written statutes. I I so look forward to working with Governor Ducey, and I'm confident that by working with the governor and the legislature, we can fix this simple legis fix this with simple legislation and not litigation. You clearly wait a Excuse me. Let's have some civility okay. in the room, please. Yes. Howard, one question. Yes, Ms. Douglas, in your statement yesterday, you basically accused the governor of being a criminal. Of, of using public funds to support charter schools, of suggesting he's a racist, and now you're saying let's make nice. What basis do you have for leveling such charges that he's trying to, to, to reduce Howie, the in public schools? Howie, we are going to work together to resolve the issue at hand, which is the ambiguity in statute on to whom does the staff of the Board of Education report? Are they Board of Education staff? or are they Department of Education staff? And I know we can do that very simply. Excuse, why didn't you, why excuse, did, excuse me, excuse me, civility people, please. This journal is next, and then Bram, you'll be third. And if we have four, you'll go next, and then we'll conclude it. Well, Superintendent, given the ambiguity, do you still stand by your firings? Are you uncertain that whether you have the authority to fire? I am certain that the authority rests with the Department of Education and the superintendent, but we will make sure that anything is resolved and clarified. Okay, Bram, you're next. Thank you. Have you told Governor Ducey this, and have you welcomed these two employees back? I will be speaking with the governor. I've reached out to him, and we look forward to working on the legislation next week, and we will work out the details to clarify um, and not leave these employees hanging in limbo. I think it's a very unfair thing to do to them. Okay. Well, last, them excuse me, Ms. excuse me, last question. Ms. Douglas, you took very decisive action in, in ordering these two people fired. Did you not know the law beforehand? Did you get bad advice? Um, I believe I am within my rights in the actions I took, but apparently the governor feels differently. We'll resolve those issues so that we can make sure it's very clear in the future and none of these issues arise again because we want to make sure that our children are never hurt and distracted, resources aren't pulled away from them with useless litigation, and to ensure that employees have clarity to whom they report. So all that, okay. thank you very much. I have to get ready for the party. All right, there it is. Arizona Superintendent of Public Instruction, Diane Douglas. We were looking at the law earlier mm -hmm. today, and it doesn't specifically state the words hire and fire. Right. Uh, so you heard her say there she believes that it does rest with her department to decide on staffing issues when it comes to those who work with the Board of Education. And we're talking two separate things, the Board of Education and the Department of Education. She is a member on the Board of Education. Mm -hmm. uh, again, she kept using the word ambiguity, right. and that's what we know, that it is vague enough to where Governor Ducey says she does not have the authority to hire and fire. Right, and as you mentioned, when you actually read that law, you do notice, I mean, I think we even kind of question, eh, which way does this go? Right. So, you know, Douglas saying that her and Ducey are going to sit down next week, that they're right. going to go over the legislation, and that she wants to get the focus uh, back on the kids in the school system. Now, of course, we have not heard uh, Governor Ducey's response right. to this, um, assuming we might hear something from him a little later in the day, so we'll 
will, of course, keep you posted on that throughout the day, either on air or online at ABC15.com.